Today I bring Tina Turner to the channel and I Can't Stand the Rain, a cover of a song I thought that was written by a group from 1978 called Eruption, who made it a worldwide hit when I was growing up and I enjoyed the song. I still go to YouTube and then I realized, oops, recently they didn't um, write the song. So I'm going to give you a little bit of bio about the song because we all know about Tina Turner. She does an incredible incredible cover version live from Rio it's a superb performance I remembered I watched on YouTube so brought forward for you to enjoy we're coming into spring early sp springy feel in the air and I want a bit of festival upbeat music dance music on my channel because for far too long I've been doing serious music with ballads and I just want to bring a bit of sunshine outside today it's a bright day and I'm feeling sunny inside and hopefully after watching this, after a couple of minutes, you'll feel uplifted. It's what my channel's about, not always about the serious. So back to the bio of this song. And I Can't Stand the Rain was a song originally recorded by Anne Pebbles. Now Anne Pebbles is known better as Anne Lee Pebbles, an American retired singer and songwriter writer, who gained popularity for her Memphis soul albums of the 1970s was signed to High Records. Now, her most successful singles include today's I Can't Stand the Rain, which she wrote with her husband, Don. Now, there were other notable versions by Graham Central Station and Lowell George, but the other one, Tina Turner's, which you'll watch today, I think is by far the most superior cover. In some respects, and no disrespect to Anne Pebbles, I feel this particular cover version is just incredible. Because, come on, Tina Turner, she's incredible. End of story. Now, the song was written, as I said, by Pebbles, her, her partner, and later husband, Don Bryant, and DJ Bernard, known as Bernie Miller in 73 and this is the wee synopsis to it one evening in memphis in 73 soul singer Anne pebbles was meeting friends including her partner high record staff write, writer don bryant to go to a concert just as they were about to set off the heavens opened and pebbles snapped i can't stand the rain as a professional songwriter in constant need of new material bryant was used to plucking resonant phrases out of the air and he liked the idea of reaching the ideal sorry an idea of reaching against recent R&B hits that celebrated bad weather such as the dramatics in the rain and loves unlimited walking in the rain with the one I love so he sat down at the piano and started writing on the theme weaving in ideas from pebbles and local DJ Bernie Miller. The song was finished that night and presented the next morning to High Studios maestro Willie Mitchell, who used a brand new gadget at the time called the Electric Timbal. Now the Electric Timbal, for everybody to know, are shallow single head drums with metal casing to create the song's distinctive raindrop riff that you hear. It really was that easy. We didn't go to the concert, Bryant remembers. We forgot about the concert. And instead, the song that erupted on the charts in 1978 for Eruption, whom I thought were the original people who wrote the song, made it a worldwide smash. But since Tina Turner's death, I haven't done enough Tina Turner on my channel. So in homage to the woman, in homage to somebody I grew up with and my late father said by God that woman has the best legs I've seen on a female when he watched her in concert one time his Tina showing her legs off and singing I can't stand the rain enjoy and I should come back with a wee synopsis of the song itself
absolutely phenomenal. And I'm sorry, Eruption, from all those years ago that made it a worldwide smash in 78. <sighs> I think Tina Turner mm, lives on, lives on with that song and made it the very best cover version. I remember uh, John Lennon saying that he loved I Can't Stand the Rain by Pebbles in homage to Pebbles as well. So I'm paying homage to the two ladies, the one that written, penned the original song and sung it, but was covered by Tina Turner and in my view, beat eruption by far, putting in all that sassiness and all the Tina Turner vibes. Oh, I need to feature her a lot more. Says you, please, please, please. I certainly will. I Can't Stand the Rain by Anne Pebbles. Let's go back. <coughs> Excuse me today. Can be in interpreted as a song about a heartbeat and longing for a lost love. The rain serves as a metaphor for Pebbles' emotions, bringing back beats with bittersweet memories of a past relationship. So in the song, Pebbles addresses the rain against her window, reminiscing about the sweetness and grandeur of the past when she and her partner were together. However, now that they've parted ways, the rain serves as a constant reminder of the absence of the loved one. It intensifies her feeling of loneliness and longing, believe it or not. The empty pillow mentioned in the second verse, empty pillow, symbolizes the physical absence of her partner. The pillow is a tangible reminder of the love and comfort they once shared. However, like the rain against her window, it now only holds memories and cannot provide the connection and affection that she desires. Now, the repetition of the chorus itself in the song, to me, emphasise the distress of the rain as it continues to haunt her, if that makes sense. And she pleads with the rain to stop tormenting her, recognising that her loved one it is no longer by her side, hence explaining why the rain is so unbearable. When you think of what Tina Turner has gone through, it's also... All, well, not also, it's almost biographical of Tina's own life. So maybe she resonated and found an affiliation with the lyrics and thought, I'm going to perform this song. I can relate to this. Because if you know Tina Turner, and millions of people around the world do, and know what she went through with Ike, particularly Ike, and the horrendousness of that relationship towards the end, I can only say that this would torment her and the lyrics, even though Eruption made it a pop tune that I just thought it was a pop tune. But I've learnt it has deep metaphorical and symbolic significance. Say that when you're drunk. Overall, I Can't Stand the Rain to me expresses the deep pain and yearning experienced after a breakup, everyone where simple triggers such as raindrops against the window can bring back a flood of memories. Now, that's true, and I could go into it, but I'll save it for another day. And then it intensifies those feelings of loneliness and longing for the lost love. I think that's happened to us all. I sometimes reflect on rain hitting a window pane, like so many people, and you've seen so many images in films, haven't we? Hands up, many films when a person looks out of the window and the rain's hitting hard and it's about the inner turmoil and the tears inside that have not been released but symbolically the rain is doing it for them it's just an image that always is encapsulated in a lot of films about love and it's still and then it's played out in real life but then on the stage in Rio it was played out by Tina Turner I can't stand the rain. When Tina Turner sings it, I love the rain. And I hope you liked my interpretation of the song and of the lyrics, not the song, because I cannot sing. Whew. I cannot sing. So, because <laughs> that song would be, I can't, instead of I can't stand the rain, I can't stand CC singing would be the name of the new song. Pebbles would probably have written that night if she'd heard me sing. Anyway, Tina Turner, thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope you smiled during the week. Come on.
pre-spring let's start smiling into spring if you watch this in summer enjoy summer if you watch this in winter time i hope it's lifted your spirits and the darkness away either way take care